Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 13 of Book 2, which states that if we have an acute angled triangle, ABC, and if we define a line from A that is perpendicular to BC and intersects at point D, so here's our triangle, this line is perpendicular to that line, then AC squared will be equal to BC squared plus AB squared minus twice BD times BC. Or again, if you remember from your high school geometry class, the cosine law. If we let this line be A, this line be C, this B, here is our angle theta, and this distance here, BD, is equal to C times cos of theta. So this little bit is c cos of theta. Plugging these values into the original equation here, we end up with the standard cosine law for acute angles. And you'll notice that this equation is exactly the same for the acute and the obtuse angled triangles, the obtuse angled triangle being described in the previous proposition. So the first thing we need to look at is our line BC which is cut at the point D. And from Proposition 7, if you recall, we have this equality. And just as a quick little refresher, let's take our BC, make a square, pretty ugly looking square, but let's pretend. So this is BC squared. So twice of BC times BD would be this area plus this area. You notice that this one is included twice plus DC squared. So the whole thing is BC squared and this was used twice and hence we get this equation. For a better explanation, go back and we look at Proposition 7. Now the next thing we're going to do is add the AD squared to both sides of the equation, so the equality still holds. But what is BD squared plus AD squared? If we look at our little pink triangle, according to Pythagoras, BD squared plus AD squared equals AB squared. Substituting AB squared for this part of the equation, we have a new equality that still holds. Now what's dc squared plus ad squared? Again, we go back to Pythagoras. ad squared plus dc squared equals ac squared. Again, substituting ac squared for this bit of the equation, we now have bc squared plus ab squared equals ac squared plus 2 times bc times bd. Or taking this and moving it to the other side of the equation, we have this equation here which again is simply the cosine law without actually using cosines. And that's it. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.